ventured into Oklahoma on a little part of a lake that, you know, if you, if you sat there and named probably 50 lakes that you've either wanted to fish, have fished, or heard of, this is probably one that you've not. And we're here today with Mr. Craig Nichols. And uh, Craig is a guide, he's an avid fisherman, he's a teacher of fishermen, and uh, he invited us over here to a lake called Ulaga, which means dark cloud which hopefully we won't have that cast over us today. And so Craig, what are we looking for this time of year? Here it is, early October. So what, what have you got us looking for? Early October on Oolagaw Lake, um, we tend to find these fish. I mean, we found them as shallow as three foot deep, but, but these fish are starting to migrate in. They're starting to get on a fall bite. They're following the shad. So I'm looking for those brush piles in anywhere from four to 12 feet of water. Um, the structure we're going to fish today is going to be in about 11 feet of water, and uh, we should have a should have a good day of fishing today. Okay, well we're going to find our first spot here. We're going to get set up, and we're going to go after some crappie. Come along with us on today's G3 Sportsman. Okay, we got us a marker buoy out in our first spot here, so let's see our plan of attack here. What do you got? What's our, what's our setup here? Well, I'm using a seven foot six ACC crappie sticks, running six pound fluorocarbon line, a one eighth ounce <clears throat> Grenada Lake Tackle Company head, and I'm running a new bait that's uh, it's a slot limit bait in blue cheese. It's a baby shad, and we'll be tipping these with minnows right now. All right, let's get her done, what do you say? Let's get that first one. Black has been my go-to color this year, that black one eighth ounce. I like my little workstation here. <laughs> just tipping them here on the end of the, of the hook, just tipping them like that. And I've got my, my uh, windscreen down right here so we've got us a nice little workstation right here too so it's just everything's right here bait bait right up here so we got all that set up i felt the top of it and just kept easing around till i fell off of it mm -hmm. and see that's what i'm trying to come to it and find the edge of it over here right now <laughs> well, yeah yeah just like that I don't even... I got it. hey First fish of the day, second flip. Second cast. Yep, how about <laughs> that? How about that? Now he said that these fish here are in these, we're sitting in about 10 or 11 foot of water right now. And we got a, is this a north wind today, Craig? Yes, sir, northeast wind. Yeah, northeast wind and what we're doing, we're just pitching in here are they right down there i mean right on the structure yes sir right on the structure and some of them are right they're they're close to the bottom they're anywhere from the bottom to about four feet from the surface yeah. and i go all the way to the bottom and then just start picking it up real slow Like that. <laughs> there we go. That little turd right there has got he got one eye, see? I caught that fish yesterday. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I could sit there and say. Is it his left eye? It is. He say, <laughs> look at that fish with one eye and go. Where? He's a little guy, so I figure he's already had a tough enough time. We're gonna let him go. There we go, I hey, got him out of there. Boy, you worked that fish forever. <laughs> We're gonna start keeping some of these up. What's the limit here? 
37 per person, no size limit. That's a nice little 10 inch fish, perfect Good, size fish perfect to eat. Perfect size to eat. We'll, uh, we'll get that, we'll put that back there in the well and we'll keep this train going. Well, and, and one thing I've noticed this time of the year, early in the morning these fish will, they'll get out and scatter and feed. Mm -hmm. And as the sun gets higher, it pushes these fish more and more to these structures. Right. They, they like to get in here for the shade. There's fish just, oh, and he got me in the yeah. brush. Oh, they come out, thank goodness. <laughs> Woo. Oh, there we go. Another eater. There you go. There you go. I like it. Nine to 11 inch fish. That's what I prefer to eat. Yep. Okay, I'm the crappie cowboy, Craig Nichols. Um, got my nickname from the Crappie Masters Tournament Trail. Uh, rode bulls professionally for over 30 years. Um, I won the 2019 Crappie Masters National Championship. And the same year I did that, I finished 11th in the world in the Senior Pro Bull Riding Association. So the guys on tour just kind of nicknamed me the Crappie Cowboy. Um, I started guiding now. I guide on Oolagall, Hudson, um, and Fort Gibson Lakes in Northeast Oklahoma. Uh, periodically, I will go to Eufaula and guide if it is requested. Um, been crappie fishing for about 35 years and have lived in Northeast Oklahoma my entire life. Yeah. you got a I got the biggest one of the day so far. <laughs> got the biggest one of the day. Thank goodness that the GoPro is on. <laughs> the GoPro's going. Noel there is... Uh, he's chasing eagles. He's chasing eagles, and so we don't have a camera going. So the biggest fish of the day is caught on the GoPro, hopefully it's on the GoPro. <laughs> so that's a good fish right there. That's usually average for this lake. So. Yeah, well, we'll take it. With, with the new technology nowadays, a lot of guys get intimidated and they, they feel like they can't go out and catch fish anymore. And that's absolutely not the case. I mean, I love, I mean, I, I use the new technology but I love leaving it at home, taking the grandkids out, or just going out with friends. Or going with me. Going with Scott, <laughs> you know, and, and just, just go out and find some brush piles and some stumps or standing timber and just enjoy fishing again, you know. Just hey, take it. a keeper. Let him just take it. That's dandy right there now. That's dandy. Starting to think I wasn't going to earn my keep there, Craig. <laughs> Just got to find the sweet spot on these piles. You too, man. I'll tell you what, it's kind of a light, kind of a light bite. And Craig said, well, when you, instead of just when you just jerk on it, when you feel that thump, just watch them and they'll take it, take, take off with it. So when in Rome, do as the Roman. Another one here for the, Another one here for the skillet. Hey, hey, hey. Another keeper. And what did you do? <laughs> what did you do? Retch out to the other side of that structure you and did. drop her you down. You got a little extension going there. You bet. Put that 13 foot rod to work. Go. Whenever we go to a pitching situation or a vertical drop and we want to stay off the brush piles or the standing timber, I go to the 12 and 13 foot crossovers. This is a new rod by ACC Crappie Sticks. You put a reel on the back of it, it really balances out in your hand. This 13 footer weighs 7.1 ounces. Um, I run 15 to 20 pound braid on these rods and pitching with them, I've actually boat flipped three and a half pound crappie in the boat with these rods. They have a soft, sensitive tip. It's a really fast tip. It muscles up with backbone really quick, and it has the backbone and muscle to boat flip those big fish, but it will not wear you out fishing with it all day. About time. Good one. a little keeper. What about it? I'll bring him back in here with old Noel. Booyah. That. 
pretty steady action, I'll have to say. Pretty steady action. We're using, I am today, I've used the little brush pile jigs on the, on the jig head. Little two inch, little diver, snowflake color. Just a pretty little old jig right there. This, this is one of my favorite times of the year to fish. Um, this summer's been real crazy. The, the bite has, has been real sporadic all summer and it's been going on all over the country, but we're transitioning out of the summer pattern into the fall, fall bite and these crappie are, they're starting to feed up and, and the bite just getting better and better each day. Um, the lakes I fish on, um, if we're gonna go trophy fishing, we'll go fish uh, some shallow standing timber um, for the meat fishing trips right now, um, we can go set up on these brush piles and, and just just catch the fire out of these fish. You know, find the brush piles they're on in 10 to 12 foot of water and, and spot lock the boat and we, we can catch fish all day. Here we go. Here we go. Good one. Here we go. It's, it's, not, it's not as fast, but they're getting bigger. They're getting to be some quality fish, so. <laughs> I can, uh, I can handle, I can handle those right there, yeah. Simple fishing. Got him. I ain't even putting a minnow on now. That was a little better there. Hey, there that we go. Keep it right there. I, just, I ain't even tipping it with a minnow now. Well, I don't have a plastic on mine, so I have to. <laughs> so, like I said now, we ain't catching just some monster fish by no means, but you know what? We got a nice, building on a nice little well of crappie. Can't complain about that. I ain't even tipping mine with a minnow now. I think you need to put on smell-o-vision whenever you cook them crappie. You think so? Yeah. Put on smell of vision Yeah. I'm going to show you. This is the old school that we thought was really, really cool compared to the live stuff now. See my bait dropping down right here? That's my bait. That's the brush right here. See how my bait track, you see it going all the way down? And I'm going all the way down. Now this is what we used to think was cool. You could see your bait dropping down. This was before all that stuff where you actually saw the fish. You see my, my line all the way down there. There's a fish right there about where my, where my jig is. And that's my, that's my bait right there. Find the top of that brush, which is oh, here we go, double. There we go, another eater. Double your pleasure, double your fun, right you here. You betcha. We've had a ball out here just pitching, jigging. No live sonar, just old no. school fishing. I mean, now look, they're not monsters by no means, but we're having a blast. These are good eating fish. We're gonna keep a few more or whatever, but what we're gonna do, it's nothing better than ending on a double. I guide on multiple lakes in northeast Oklahoma and it, it's, it's according to the wind direction and, and the weather we have. Some of these lakes I guide on set up north-south so when we have a hard north-south wind um, we can't guide on those lakes. I, I have some lakes, all the lakes I guide on are within an hour of each other so regardless of weather conditions we can go get on a body of water and we can get on some fish. I like to try to keep my clients safe and comfortable in a boat. And, and I want everybody to, to have a great time fishing anytime we go out. And, and I have the areas to go do that on multiple lakes in this area. I want to thank Craig Nichols for uh, allowing us to come down here and fish Oolaga. We've had a ball. I absolutely had a blast. And you are, uh, you're guiding, so the information's right there at the bottom of the screen. You can hook up with him. The crappie cowboy. You bet. That you saw in the back of his jersey earlier. And uh, hey. You go with old crappie cowboy, you can wrangle you some crappie like these and even bigger. So just remember guys, keep what you can use, release the rest, and you know what? We'll be out there doing something fun next time, right here on the G3 Sportsman. Thanks for watching. Okay, let's put them in the well.